Hey folks, welcome back. My name is Dominic. I'm the host of the Android Factory. In the last episode, we walked through the wiki here to get our Firebase app distribution GitHub action ready to go. We follow the documentation here to create a service account uh, for our Firebase project, we connected up the dots. We've created this secret credential file content inside of our uh, repository secrets secrets here inside of GitHub. So we are all ready to go at this point to actually build up our GitHub Actions file. And let's just go ahead and jump right into it, right? So smash that like button as we get started here. Subscribe if you are brand new. And of course, let me know how I'm doing in the comments. So this one is going to look rather similar to uh, this this other workflow. So that's why I just copied it real quick. Creating another file here, manual deploy to Firebase. If we notice in the top left here, right, we kind of have job underscore manual underscore operation underscore. These are just little little ways that I like to kind of namespace the different files for their different actions. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and paste this info in. It's obviously not going to be called test debug. We're going to say uh, deploy to Firebase here. Instead of workflow call, we're going to change this to workflow dispatch allowing us to um, you know, run this from the GitHub Actions UI inside of GitHub itself. We're gonna go ahead and add in an input here. We're gonna call this one release notes. Nope, that, that is not right, sorry about that. We don't need to give it a name. The name of it is actually just you know, the, the key there that you see uh, before the colon. Then we're just gonna go ahead and add in a few attributes here, type string, Let's call it required true. Of course, I need to spell required correctly. And here we're actually even just gonna give it a default value as well, just to kind of show off being able to put in, you know, default values. We're gonna go with uh, manual debug build. We have our jobs. We're gonna have this job called build. We need the name to be a little bit different. Building and distributing app, that looks good to me. Runs on Ubuntu latest, and then the steps here, right? Pretty basic, we're gonna of course check out, we're gonna of course set up Java, we're gonna set up Gradle, we're going to make Gradle executable, and the Gradle command that we are going to execute is not test debug unit test. Instead here we are going to call the assemble debug, which is going to assemble our debug variant. This is going to yield the classic APK, uh, or you know, the, the debug APK that we, you know, know and run basically all the time when we run from Android Studio. So now we need the actual distribution side of things to come into play, right? Because we've told the action, okay, set up everything, uh, and create the build, and now we need to actually distribute the build. And the way that we can do that here is by simply just copying and pasting this exact uh, step here into our Flow. So we simply paste that in, upload artifact to Google Play, sorry, not Google Play, Firebase app distribution. We're gonna have to go ahead and add in the Firebase app ID, but that's not difficult. We already have this configured, right? The credentials file content, saw that before. Let's call it Firebase app ID. So let's take this, let's go over here. We have the credentials file content already from the previous episode. If you missed it, go ahead and check it out. And then the Firebase app ID, this is pretty easy to know here. Uh, we're just gonna get the project ID from Firebase. We're gonna go back to GitHub and we're gonna paste that in. I'm gonna remove that line, why not? And we go ahead and add our secret in. Now we have the Firebase app ID, the credentials file content, all of them, or both of those are in secrets. We're using both of them inside of this uh, step here. And realistically, that is about it. We do not want this path to be this because of this, the assemble debug. Okay, and as we see here, the build is successful in 29 seconds. So what I did was I actually ran the assemble debug Gradle task, right? And realistically what that does inside of our app build outputs APK debug, then we just have this generated here with the app debug APK. Right, so realistically, this is the path that we need. We don't need all of it because it's on my local machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this little bit of the path. And instead of the app build outputs APK release, I guess I really didn't need to copy and paste it. We're gonna go ahead and instead call app dash debug, I believe it is. Yep, app debug APK app build outputs apk debug app build outputs apk debug app debug apk Whew, mouthful but that is what we need right because this gradle command created this file at this path 
right? And so this is kind of how the operations and how the uh, actions are starting to come together. Previous steps build off of, you know, uh, or, or future steps build off of previous steps work and output and all that kind of stuff. And this is really powerful. The last little bit here is the group testers. This is just a little bit of maintenance that we need to do inside of our uh, Firebase project. So let's go ahead and flip over to app distribution. As we see here, there are no, um, you know, releases here. And unfortunately, there also are no testers. So we need to add a group here. Let's call it testers. This is the name of the group. And then inside of testers, we're going to go ahead and add a tester. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the droid factory email. So if you're not familiar with app distribution, I highly recommend looking on the channel for some of the other videos that I have on it. It's really, really powerful. It's an amazing way to quickly distribute your build to anybody that you want. Uh, but more importantly, for this exact task, we needed to create a group. We named that group testers. We have testers inside of that group. So now when this whole operation runs, we now are basically deploying this build uh, to this group here named testers. So in order to test this out, while wow, it's just a lot of the same word, we're gonna have to push this up, created our manual deploy action. We will commit and push. We're gonna push that info up. And now when we flip over to our GitHub, we can go to actions. We will now see the deploy to Firebase action, which is what we named it. And we can then go ahead and run this workflow. Notice here how the release notes are, ah, okay, sorry, I forgot to add the release notes in, but notice here how you can actually set them to whatever it is that you want. Uh, realistically, the reason I did that is because there is an additional option, maybe this documentation will be easier. Um, release notes here and you could pass that along and then that will kind of uh, be added to what appears here inside of the releases so sorry to be jumping back and forth here but let me just go ahead and clean that up um, where is it? it's just called release notes so we're just gonna go ahead and add in this feature here it's basically like a parameter right if you imagine this whole operation here being a function that you're willing to call and all of these things that you're setting being different parameters right so you can really kind of uh, manipulate this function call however you want based upon what you put in here up top here right we had something called inputs and then release notes uh, we can go ahead and update this or, or reference this by saying uh, let's just copy and paste we can simply say here inputs dot release notes and then this is basically going to capture you know put whatever uh, the release notes this this function needs we're going to capture it from the input that was provided we define that input up here and that is whatever the user that when you run the thing is actually putting in here now you notice this says release underscore notes has the star there because it is required true but the release underscore notes does not necessarily look super fancy so we can just simply go ahead and change that up by adding in yet again another little piece of information we can just say the description and we can then just simply say release notes like this right a little bit more human readable version as opposed to the release underscore notes so we're just going to go ahead and uh, push these changes up and we should see this momentarily when we bounce back over here, let's refresh the page. We obviously have our deploy to Firebase action. When we run the workflow, yep, we now see release notes here in a more human readable fashion because of how we uh, edited things. And then let's see our first deployment here. Perfect, we can go ahead and fill that out and then we click run workflow and now we wait. Perfect, this is now, uh, th this action is now being queued up. It's now in progress. We can click into it. We can see exactly what's going on. You can see the various steps that it's going to go through. Don't wanna bore you with all the details, so I'll come back around when something fun happens. But at the end of this, we should see the assemble debug you know, build uh, actually being deployed here. All right, our build is successful here. Now we are trying to upload. Uh oh, did that fail? Hey folks, remember when I was talking about the app ID variable being this? Well, yeah, that says project ID. So I don't know why I was so confident with that. This is what we need, the actual app ID. My apologies. Uh, so for your connected app, you're gonna have to go ahead and get the ID for that. It makes a lot of sense. We're gonna go over here to the actions. We're going to update our Firebase app ID. We're gonna paste that info in there and we're gonna go ahead and hit update secret. And now we're gonna rerun 
and see how this all goes. All right, release notes are first, really the second deployment here, run the workflow, and let me get back to you when something happens. And ladies and gentlemen, check that out here. We have everything working properly. We see everything ran perfectly. Let's bounce on over here, go to our app distribution, and would we look at that, we have the release notes, as you can see here, our first, really our second deployment. Go ahead and actually see the testers. You can even download the APK if you wanted to. And realistically, if you have, you know, friends, family, other people, you know, testing this QA, whatever the case is, they now have access to this release. So it really is that easy, right? We've kind of set everything up here. You can come over to your actions, select the deploy to Firebase and run this workflow. If you had different branches you wanted to select, you could select different branches. You could put in different release notes that you want. Whatever it is you need to do, you can go ahead and actually just now at any point, automatically deploy to Firebase. If you made it this far in the video, really appreciate you. Smash that like button, subscribe if you are brand new. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. There's a couple other fun things we can do here to automate deployments to Firebase. We can get them running on a daily cadence. We could get them running on, you know, tag pushes. We could, you know, even if you wanted to, whenever whenever something gets merged into to main, you can do it. Sure, you, you can do whatever you want. Um, so maybe I'll make some content on that. Let me know if you have anything else you're interested in. Otherwise, catch you in the next one. Thanks.